Good morning friends, welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss one of the gate question which came in the year 2003 related to paging. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First let me read out the question, then I will discuss the solution with you. Look at the question. In a system with 32 bit virtual address and 1 KB page size, use of one level page tables for virtual to physical address translation is not practical because of they have given four options option a is large amount of internal fragmentation option b large amount of external fragmentation option c large memory overhead in maintaining page tables option d large computation overhead in the translation process we need to solve the question and find out what is the right answer if you look at the first statement in the given question in a system with 32 bit virtual address the virtual address uh, is same as logical address as they have provided 32 bit so i can consider that logical address is 32 bit if they have given the logical address we can find the logical address space which is 2 power 32 if you look at here they have provided in term page size in terms of bytes and nowhere they mention the word size or anything so we can consider this as what byte addressable so if it is byte addressable if logical address is 32 bit logical address space will be 2 power 32 bytes and they have provided the page size as 1 kb which is nothing but 2 power 10 bytes okay now if you look at the option a what they are talking large amount of internal fragmentation we have two types of memory allocation one is contiguous and another one is non-contiguous okay in contiguous we have fixed size partitioning and another one is variable size partitioning in fixed size partitioning we will have several issues such as internal fragmentation external fragmentation restriction on degree of multi-programming restriction on the process size but the problem such as internal fragmentation restriction on the process size and restriction on the degree of multi-programming will be overcome in the variable size partitioning only we will have the external fragmentation in the variable size partitioning but when it comes to the non-contiguous memory allocation as the phasing the where the page size is equal to the frame size so there is no possibility of internal fragmentation when the internal fragmentation will be possible in the paging if the frame size is greater than the page size because the secondary memory or the process which is there in the secondary memory is logically divided into phases and main memory is divided in logically into frames and the size of a frame is equal to size of a page so one page of a process will be kept in one of the frame in main memory if the frame size is greater than the paces then internal fragmentation is possible but always the size of a frame will be equal to size of a page so internal fragmentation is not at all possible if the internal fragmentation is not possible how can they say is that large amount of internal fragmentation it is not possible at all now look at the option b large amount of external fragmentation when the external fragmentation there is a possibility let's take that the free space which is available in the main memory is partition into two partitions of size one is 8 kb another one is 8 kb and you have a process p1 which request is 10 kb if it is contiguous memory allocation we cannot span the process p1 into multiple partitions <coughs> Some people may say that, sir, you have total 16 KB. So process P1, 8 KB, you can keep in this partition. Remaining 2 KB, you can keep here. But that is not possible in contiguous memory allocation because spanning is not allowed. One process cannot be there in multiple partitions. So even you have 16 KB free space, we are not able to allocate 10 KB for the process P1. This situation we will call it as external fragmentation. In paging and that to in virtual addressing concept we will not face the external fragmentation in virtual memory what they will say is that if the process size is greater than the main memory we use the on-demand page whenever the page is required then only we will upload in the main memory all the pages in the process is not required at a once 
to execute the process. Is it clear? So, there is no chance of external fragmentation. So, option B is also wrong. Look at the option C, what they are talking, large memory overhead in maintaining page tables. So, we need to find the page table entries. How many page entries are there in a page table? All these things we will do it. Okay. So, first if I want to find the number of entries in a page table, the first I need to find the number of pages. So, number of pages is equal to number of pages in a process is equal to process size okay by page size is it clear if you look at here the process size is 2 power 32 bytes and page size is 2 power 10 bytes if you divide you will get 2 power 22 pages you will get am i right 2 power 22 pages you will get okay now if you have 2 power 22 pages for a process then how many entries will be there in a page table okay look at here the page table will be maintained for each process meaning is that each process will have its own page table okay the page table will help you to identify page number any page number suppose let's take the page number zero in which frame of the main memory it has been kept so you will have page number 0 to page number 2 power 22 minus 1 so page number 0 in which frame of the main memory let's take the page number 0 has kept in the frame number 5 it will be there 2 power 22 minus 1 page has kept in frame number 0 so this is the use of the page tables because cpu will always generate the either virtual address or the logical address so logical address or the virtual address reflects the address of a process but the memory management unit has to con convert the logical address into physical address because your page is actually there in the main memory of a particular frame so you have to convert the logical address into a physical address so that's why page table is required so look at how many entries are there 2 power 22 pages are there so large memory overhead in maintaining in page tables is possible okay now look at the option d large computation overhead in the translation process it is not the correct answer why i will tell you is it clear if you look at it is a one level paging so one level paging means the memory management unit should convert the logical address to physical address. The logical address will consist of page offset and then page number. Whereas physical address will consist of frame number and frame offset. Is it clear? So, CPU will generate the logical address. Suppose, let's take that CPU want the sixth byte in a process. Then, it will generate. Suppose, let's take that logical address is 4, byte, four bits. Then, 6 can be represented as like this. So, it will identify the page number and page offset. Then, it will look the page table. The page table also will be there in the main memory in one of the frame okay if it is one level paging as they are talking about the one level paging meaning is that entire page table we can keep it in one of the frame of main memory so you will look at the page table base address and then you will go to the particular page of the page table and then you will look at the frame number so you will find the equivalent frame number page offset and frame offset will be same because the page size will be equal to frame size so this is very simple process there is no computation overhead if it is multi-level paging then i can agree that computation overhead is possible but it is a single level paging so computation overhead is not the right answer so option d is also wrong so option c is correct because we have 2 power 22 pages are there so maintaining them in a single page table is a requires large amount of memory so for this question, option C is the right answer. I hope you have understood how I solve this question. If you still have any doubts related to this concept, feel free to ask me in the comment section. 
I will try to clear your doubts as early as possible. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.